All right, so today we're gonna go over a occlusion press hold. So got kind of a um, weird term for this type of movement, but pretty much what we're doing is we're trying to mimic what kind of comes from like BFR training or occlusion training. If you don't have like wraps uh, to actually occlude the arms or the legs, um, but there's a couple of different movements we can actually do to try and mimic that the best we can. So today we're gonna to do an overhead press with an occlusion type hold. Um, usually um, we can do this with dumbbells. I'm gonna to demonstrate today with the cinder block or if you, know, you wanna do double cinder block, if you can actually press both of them overhead, you can do that as well. I'm gonna go over just the one and then I'll also show like a dumbbell, uh, a pair of dumbbells as well. So, all right, so if I just have my cinder block, I'm gonna take my cinder block, I'm gonna press it overhead, I'm gonna slowly bring it down, and I'm gonna stop like kind of right before it hits my chest. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of hold here for probably 20 or 30 seconds, whatever, whatever is indicated on the, uh, on the app, okay? So we're just gonna kind of hold it. You're not gonna let it rest. I want you to kind of stay active, let it hold, okay? So that way we can kind of get that occlusion feel out of this. All right, so that's with just the cinder block. Like I said, you can do that. Or I'm gonna show you with a pair of dumbbells too if you just happen to have a pair of dumbbells. All right, so with the dumbbells, we're gonna start in our position. I want you to press and kind of do like the Arnold press. So I want you to come down, same thing. We're gonna hold for probably 20 or 30 seconds and we're not gonna let it rest. I want you to stay active. So almost like you're kind of still pressing into the dumbbells a little bit. So we're doing a bit of like an isometric hold and then we'll hold and you come back down, okay? And that's that.